G'day guys, here we are at the number 17 drilling guide. Uh, this one, now I'll apologize if I make any mistakes when doing this tutorial, because it is a bit of a tricky one. There's a lot of dimensions and I remember when I was actually drawing this exercise, I found it, um, it was, you know, it was pretty challenging. So we'll see how we go. For starters, we haven't been given, we've been given the information on how wide the um, footprint is that way. We can see it's 90 millimeters. We haven't been given any information on this direction. Um, or we haven't been given a total um, dimension, I guess, but we can add it up. We can see that this tab at the top and bottom here are 10 millimeters wide. So we've got that 10. Then from here, the bottom of the tab um, to the center of this circle and the center of that uh, radius or that arc or half circle, if you want to call it that, is 45 millimeters. So add those together, we've got 55. Then the radius of that half circle is 20. So we need to add another 20. So uh, that gives us 55 plus 20, which is 75. We've got 75 that way, 90 that way. So we'll grab our rectangle tool and we'll put that in. 75 comma 90, enter. We'll zoom in on that. And we do have the information on how tall it is. It's 135. So we'll push that up to 135. Perfect. Now, lots of things to remove here. Uh, geez, where to start? Um, Okay, I guess we could uh, get this tab sorted. So that's 10 millimeters wide. So we'll put a mark in 10 across and from here all the way across to there. Now, we'll click on here, push that down by, does it tell us how much? It, very, it actually might not tell us how much. Um, uh, no, it doesn't actually, okay. Um, so what we have to do is, We've been given the, it tells us how far, um, like we've got a dimension that lines up with that. And see here it says 75 millimeters from there to there. And these are all, um, because this seems to be a symmetrical shape, we can say that if we have the center point here and we go half of 55 to there and then half of 75 to there, half of 105 will give us the center of those circles, so on and so forth. And <clears throat> there's a really cool tool we can use for that. Um, so the first thing we'll do is we will um, go down this back edge and find that center point, which if the shape is 135, the center will be, what, uh, 67 and a half. My math is right. 67.5. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the rectangle tool. Now, normally when we use the rectangle tool, it's really annoying when it changes on us to the center rectangle like that. But can you see here? it's almost perfect for us. Like it's doing exactly what we want, but you know, just giving us a few extra lines on the side there. The first one is 55 millimeters high. So, um, and it goes how far in 10 millimeters. So because we've got, um, that's the center rectangle. It's going to go, we want it to go 10 millimeters one way. It has to go 10 millimeters the other way. If we type in 55 comma 20. We have to put in that first little, uh, I guess you'd say chunk for us there to there, right? That's that bit, we can erase these three lines, right? The next thing we wanna do is use the center rectangle again. So I press control and it turns it into the center rectangle for us. And this one is gonna be 75 by, we need it to go uh, 10 millimeters to there to there and then 10 millimeters further. So that's 20 millimeters and we've got to double it because we're using a center rectangle. Um, so we'll type in 75 comma 40. And see how that's given us that shape there? Perfect. We can erase those and erase that. Now, um, is that the last thing we need to use for that? I think so, because now we can probably just draw straight down to here. And it's giving us a guideline there to go straight up to here. We can erase those lines. And that gives us our back tab shape completely. All right, so we use a center rectangle to get those. That's pretty handy, isn't it? All right, now. We can push this whole thing down to that first line. And because it's symmetrical top to bottom as well, we can do them both at the same time to make things a bit easier. Oop, not like that. We need to draw this line across first, don't we? Make sure it stays on the green axis. Then we can push this one up. Okay. Now, this is the part where I feel like I'm probably going to make some mistakes. So bear with me as I do this. Um, we can see that this, the width of this is given us in the it's given to us in the form of a radius um, dimension so we know that the radius of this half circle is 20 that means 
if we double it, that'll give us the diameter of that circle, which will tell us that this is 40 millimeters wide. So from here to here, I can measure 40 millimeters. And if I draw that line straight across on the red axis to 65, that gives us that. We need to remember we've got this tab here, which is 10 millimeters wide. So I think we've got enough stuff now we can just go from that point, which we know is 10 millimeters away to the um, line. It's not locking onto the um, to the tape measure line there. So if I hold down shift, go to the guide point over here and there, that, uh, that does it for us, doesn't it? Yep. Yep, cool. Okay. Now, this is where it gets tricky because we've got, we can't take away this just yet because we're going to have to put in a little um, a slope. I guess it's like a kind of sloped segment later. Um, that runs all the way to the tangent point on that circle. It runs from that corner until it touches, um, you know, basically touches the edge of that circle. So I'll show you how that one is done because I think we have to draw it in now. From this point, if we go 20 millimeters across, 20 millimeters in, that's our center point for the arc. We can draw in our arc like this. Okay, and we've got that. Now, from, uh, I think we can r probably erase that line. I don't think we need it. Let's hope I didn't do the wrong thing there. We can draw in a line from that corner to, I said earlier we have to do it to the tangent point on that circle, and I'll explain what the tangent point is now. If I click from here, what the tangent point means is, I'm not just going to go there where it touches the circle. I'm going to go to the part of the circle where it's going to touch it uh, last, I guess, without crossing over the circle. So if I go to this point here, see how that this line is now cutting through the circle, right? But if I bring it back to this one, it's not cutting through the circle. Whereas this one, you know, I could still go further without hitting the circle. That there is our tangent point. Any further I go and I start cutting into the circle. So we want to bring it back to that point, which is our tangent point. Okay. Um, because we've got that tangent point now, I believe we can... I don't want to speak too soon, but I believe we can remove, start removing some things. Um, but, you know, I don't want to make a mistake here, do I? Because <laughs> we have to do it, oh, because we're doing it symmetrically, we're going to have to draw this geometry on the bottom as well. So, we're, so we can remove it from the bottom up and from the top down. If we didn't do that, it would just become a little bit more tricky. So uh, we'll turn the shape upside down and we'll draw the exact same geometry in. We'll go 20 millimeters that way, 20 millimeters down, draw our arc in, or our half circle in, I guess you could say. From here, all the way across to a half circle. Perfect. Um, I think, what do we have on the top? We've got, yeah, we've got solid lines. So from here, straight across to there, and then from this corner to our tangent point. So it's not that point there, it's this point here. It's not crossing through the circle, and we haven't come too early. We've got the tangent point there. Okay? So I think now we're probably good to remove this here, this here, and then we just need to push this bit until it's six millimeters thick. We don't want it all the way from here to here. It needs to be six millimeters thick. So we've got our center line, which will uh, our center point, which will move across to here, 20 millimeters, and we'll go from there. Oops, need to make sure I'm on the guide point. Click three millimeters up and three millimeters down, which gives us a total of six. And then push this to that first guide point. Push the bottom side. Oh, hang on, something went wrong. Ah, sorry. Yep, I've done the wrong line here which hopefully doesn't make a massive issue. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think if I go straight across to there, that will solve that problem. Yep, look at that. Great. All right, one mistake. Mr. Madridge, not so perfect after all. Um, so we'll use the rubber to remove that. And then I think that looks just about right, doesn't it? Yeah, that's got the ramp in there. It meets at the tangent point. That looks good. Okay, I think everything else from here on out is quite easy. It's just putting circles in, 
and some ramps in, which we know how to do. So let's work through those. We'll start off over here. We know that the diameter of that is 20, so we type in 10, which is the radius. Push that all the way through to there. Make sure it went through the bottom. Perfect. Um, maybe we'll do the we'll do the slopes first. Um, those little slopes, top and bottom. We can see it's six millimeters wide, and it's 37 millimeters from the edge. So we'll go 37 millimeters this way. Um, 37. Enter. We'll use the pencil line to draw that first line in like that. And then we need a line six millimeters away because that's how thick it is. Looks pretty skinny, is that right? Uh, yeah, I guess it is. Push this one up, same as we did in one of the earlier drawings. Draw the diagonal line across and shave that off. All right, exact same thing on the bottom. Use the exact same measurements. You've got to go 37 millimeters and then six millimeters from there. Use the pencil line to draw those straight across. And we push this down to here. Use the pencil tool to draw the slope in and push it across. Okay, great, look at that. Now, um, the circles, it says four holes, 12 diameter. So all two, uh, one, two, three, four holes are all are all um, 12 millimeters in diameter. And I think it's safe to assume that um, the dimensions given here are gonna be identical on the bottom. If they weren't, it would be specified. They would have different dimensions underneath here. But if the dimensions aren't given, it's safe to assume that those four holes will be placed at the same distances apart. So the starters, um, we need the center point of those circles lines up here with that 105 millimeter mark. So we might need to grab the center rectangle again. Um, so, uh, control for a center rectangle. I think the other rectangle is blue at the moment. If I start drawing there, it's going to be on the wrong axis. If I hit the left button, it goes to a green one for me. Okay, so I can go here and I need to type in 105. I think it'll be 20 because that is 10 millimeters thick. Yep, oh, sorry, wrong way around. Um, press control again to a center rectangle. It's the left arrow key to get it up there. So I've got to type in 20 comma 105. Now I just need to erase all the stuff I don't want. Um, there we go. So I've got a line there, which I can line my circles up on. The center of the circle is 20 millimeters away from the edge, as we can see here. And then the distance between those two is 50 millimeters. So 50 center. All right, so there's my two um, center points. I'll do that at the bottom as well. 20 and 50. Okay, good. Now, I can grab the circle tool and just put in four circles with a diameter of 12, so the radius would be six. And there, there. It also, the circle tool is quite good. It's It kind of remembers what you did last time, so I can just click here. I don't need to type anything in. It'll automatically pop up with six. And then I can use the push-pull tool with the double-click function once I've done the first one to double-click that that and that all right have i missed anything i don't think so yeah we got it all how good's that all right i guess we can maybe make sure that this is 75 millimeters because we've got a dimension there 75 bang on all right great work look at that that was tricky um we'll edit delete the guides uh and then we'll probably just remove these two um pencil lines as well because we don't need those and that looks pretty perfect all right good work guys um, we will file save as, oh, I've got to find my folder. Where is it? Cat activities, number 17, drilling. There we go. Save that. Perfect. Good work. File new. What do we got next? The number 18, Dow gauge. All right. I'll see you over there.